Mac OS X Line offers a new way to keep yourself organized and help your workflow. It's called Mission Control. There's a couple of different ways you can get to Mission Control. You can get to it from your keyboard or you can get to it using the Mission Control icon in the dock. My favorite way though is if you have a Magic Trackpad or a trackpad on your MacBook or MacBook Pro is to do the three finger swipe upwards gesture to do this. Inside Mission Control, you'll notice that Mac OS X groups all of your different programs together. So I have a stack here of program files from Mail, from Finder Windows, to some documents I'm working on in Pages, and some files that I have open up in Preview. If you have too much clutter on one desktop, if you move your mouse to the top right corner of the screen, you can create a second desktop. Once you have a second desktop, you can actually group things together and move them to that desktop if you want to. So for example, I'm going to move my preview and my pages documents to desktop 2. Now when I click back on my desktop 1, I have a little bit less clutter here to worry about. Since I have more than one desktop open, you'll notice that inside Mission Control, I have full screen Safari and iPhoto taking up their own personal desktop too. If I swipe three fingers to the right, I can go to my Safari desktop and browse the internet in full screen. I can go into iPhoto and again use the entire screen to look and edit my photos here. And if I move one more to the right, here's my second desktop I just created. Uh, that has my pages documents as well as my preview documents. Now if this one feels too cluttered, again, I can go right into Mission Control here in Desktop 2. I can create yet another desktop and I can move things like pages in their own desktop here and keep things in preview uh, here in Desktop 2. So now I have even less clutter to worry about. Now if you get used to making your own desktop backgrounds, here's something that you might want to do. Uh, for example, if I create another desktop here, I can change the backgrounds of my desktops. So if you have four desktops, you can have four custom backgrounds for each one. So uh, since we're working in line here, why don't we uh, use the new cat on the block? And now you'll notice if I switch between desktop three and desktop four, they're completely separate backgrounds here. So this is actually really great to keep things organized. Now if you uh, constantly work in uh, certain files, like for example, uh, again this is uh, Pages, I can actually go here in the dock and I can right click on Pages, go to Options, and I actually can tell Pages to always open up in Desktop number 3. So under Options I'm going to say open assign to this desktop. Now if I actually close these pages windows here and let's say I'm going to go to desktop 4 if I click on uh, pages again let's see here let's open up uh, let's open up this poster here it will immediately take me to desktop 3 and open up the document that I asked it to so here it is there's the document that I just opened up uh, so this is a great way to assign things to always open up in a certain area. That way you can keep yourself organized. So again, three fingers up. You can see everything here uh, right at a glance. You see all your desktops at top, all your full screen applications on top. You can see all your other applications here. And, uh, you know, again, top right corner, I can create as many desktops as I want just to keep myself organized here and drag things to those desktops. And uh, again, great way to keep the workflow going, keep yourself organized. Uh, and again, only in Mac OS 10, 10.7, Lion.